Hello everybody and welcome to the Speedy Ninjas Pokemon Elmo version Nuzlocke. And as usual the internal battery has run dry. So as you guys can see down here there's this little 99, 98, 100% thing. I don't know how to get rid of that, that just came with the file or whatever. So we are going to get all that stuff out of the way. I like it old fashioned but I'm just going to stick with the normal frame. Oh god. So, what's gonna go on here is that it's not a randomized Nuzlocke, it's just gonna be a normal Nuzlocke because, well, I don't have the randomized things. So, yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Anyways, my name is Birch, but everybody calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. I thought that those were just various amount of pixels. It, I, it, I I don't even know. Is, is that really a Pokemon? This world is widely inhabited by the creatures known as Pixels. I mean Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon and at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates, and sometimes slaves as well. Oh, I meant we band together and battle others like us. But still, what's the difference? But despite our close look, Closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel the Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or are you a girl? You know, I always question this part. Why does the professor always ask us our gender when we're plainly right in front of him, you know? I I mean, like, you know, if, if we were actually there, it kind of, wouldn't it kind of be obvious? <laughs> Unless you're like a transvestite, which I have no problem with that. With that. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Brandon, or in other words, known as Ruby. But we are gonna go with we're gonna go with Jask. I don't know the the select key on here, so I'm just gonna have to do this. <laughs> So what we're gonna probably start out with is most likely gonna probably be uh, Sceptile because that's usually the harder way out in this in this game. Because I mean, like, think about it. You you get Mudkip, which then turns into Marshtom, which is still a water type. That can blow through the first gym. Second gym's probably gonna be no problem. There, he has no weakness. He or she has no weakness there. And by that time, we should at least know at least a ground type move, so third gym's done. Then you go to Torchic. By the first gym, you should have a Combustion if you know how to train it right. Which then your double kick or whatever that you get first is gonna help a lot. It's. just trust me. So, first of all, why are. I, I've always questioned this since I was a kid. Why are we in a van? I mean, really? Why are we? I I I never understood why. I mean, your mom's already home. So how did if she wasn't in if she was in the truck, wouldn't she have like rented another car or something? Because clearly by this time there are cars. And if I remember correctly, it was never. Oh no, it was implied in in Red Blue. My bad. It must be tiring. Tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Yeah, I almost got crushed. Well, this is Little, little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. 
has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Okay, for those for those who actually got this game when they were a kid, did any of you know what quaint meant, or even knew how to say it? <laughs> Just wondering. And you get your own room, Jask! Let's go inside! Well, damn, that just implies to me that I never had a freaking. Wow. See, Jax, isn't it nice in here too? Movers Pokemon do all the work of us. of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Jax, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, here's the one thing I don't get. Vigoroths are usually kind of vicious, but they're helping us move. I'd rather stick with the Machokes and the Champses, and yeah, i just stick with those. The clock is stopped, it better set and start it. Okay, um, I honestly don't care, so we're just gonna put it on... 413. Wonder if anybody's gonna get that reference. Most likely not. Jess, how do you like your new room? Good! Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. Pokemon moves are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all, all there on your desk. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, man. In just a few days, this map's gonna look a lot better. Or... For those who actually have the Japanese DS and all that, you already can tell that it looks a lot better, but still. <laughs> this was our childhood. Our childhood. Oh man, can't wait to see Omega Ruby and Elf Sapphire. Alright, Jazz flipped over the notebook. Oh yeah, it's this crap. No, oh, I did not. Rule number one, don't mash the buttons. Fast. I don't know. Alright, let's go into our PC and grab out our potion. A potion that I never knew existed until like a year after this game. Because <laughs> I, I, even though I started on Pokemon Yellow, no. I never knew that there was a potion inside my PC or anything. Because <laughs> I never really bothered to check on it, you know? Alright, so we're gonna go over to Professor. Professor Birch, my bad, I'm sorry, I'm so used to be saying, calling him something else. But first, let's go into a girl's room and stalk her stuff and maybe even steal one of her Pokemon. My daughter is upstairs, I think. If, I, I, if you think your daughter is upstairs and she's not, you should be very worried. <laughs> huh? Who are you? Oh, you're Jess, so you moved in today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. Honestly, the video game portrayal of May is a lot better than the anime. <laughs> and even her uh, manga version, Sapphire, she's a lot better than the anime version because she's a little bit nutty, but... Oh, yeah. She's a little nutty, but she's, she's actually a pretty interesting character. So let's go over here now and check out what's all the noise. There's scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? For those of you who's actually been in the forest, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of sounds coming from the forest. Okay, so this kind of thing <laughs> probably would, wouldn't happen. I'll tell you, it, it probably would happen, but she would immediately know what was probably going on. My bag, there's plenty of ball. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with Trico. I actually do not like Trico. I like its evolution, uh, Grovile, and the concept of uh, the Skeptile or Sceptile, however you like to say it, is a lot. It's pretty cool, but Trico itself, no. So let's see what we got. Wow, it's been a while since I last flipped through here. Okay, we got a lax nature. Uh, I don't really know what lax nature is, but it looks like that it's gonna be speed and special attack. Not very good for Trico's 
grass typing. Wow. Freaking A. Two hit KO on 60. Wow. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, end this guy. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Jask. This is not the This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Magically teleports. So, Jask. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Another word that most likely most of us did not even know was a, even a word. Hell, I still don't even know, to be honest. Because <laughs> I've never... I've never ever heard anybody even say that. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for asking, as thanks for asking me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Jazz received Trico! Yay! Well, you're out of why not give a nickname to that Trico. As we know slot rules, I must name Trico. Um... Uh, no, I should probably do that. I really don't know what to name it. Um, Akret, I guess? I, I really don't know. I'm just picking random letters out of its own name. That's like the weirdest name I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I've seen quite a few Nuzlocke's too. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Just why don't you... Don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Not really. I don't want to see her. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Okay, if you're forcing me to. Get May to, to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, so now we're heading out to... Route 103, I think? Or 203? Ah, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> So we're gonna go over to Route 101 now. Um, by the way, just a reminder: every encounter that I meet here does not actually count towards the Nuzlocke until I pick up my Pokeballs. So yeah. However, I'm not gonna really use it to boost. I'm not really gonna take that to my advantage because I feel like that that would be a little bit. Um. <coughs> it, I don't know. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fast forward. My, there actually might be, but I don't know the key for that. Whatever. And let's kill this Wurmple. Let's snap it in half and feed it to a bee drill. Really? Are you serious? Oh, Zigzagoon wants payback. Alright, alright. Let's go, Akret. Let's let's teach it a lesson. Oh. That's gonna be a little bit bad. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be problematic. Er... Hello? No, no, can we not? We are not gonna end the freaking... Okay. Alright. <laughs> we are... No, we are not doing that. I'm not putting up with that BS already. We're gonna go into Oldale's uh, Pokemon Center and heal up immediately. Cause that was, um, that was very unexpected. Getting the growl on us and then a critical hit. And it's three levels, it was three levels be below us too and it dealt that much damage, wow. Trigos does not have that good of a defense, does it? Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? Uh, I could just kind of imagine this person just grabbing your hand and freaking rushing you over to to the Pokemon Mart. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catch Pokemon. Here, I'd like to have this for a pro promotional item. Okay, the potion. The potion can be used anytime, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. Uh, that, that's, that's good for you, Ben. Good for you, pal. Actually, it'd be good for me, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I was right. Route 103. Uh, 
uh, this, you have nothing good to say, right? Yeah, you have nothing important. Hopefully we don't get jumped by a Pokemon in the last- God damn it. Oh, no! Oh, man, I would've liked that. I, w I would've wanted a Pelipper. That would've been helpful, actually. <coughs> Why I'm not running away is because, well... Why wouldn't I run away? It's level 3 and it's basically 3 XP. And if I take a mount, I like a considerable amount of damage, I'll just use my potion. Wingo fainted, I gained 20 XP. Wow, holy crap. I just might level up to level 7. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include. Option A, Wingle, Option B, Wurmple, Option C, Kyogre, or Option D, Deoxys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Oh, I see. My dad gave you Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick Pokemon battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Hey, then. Go on, Craig! Use Leer! One more Leer should do it. And then we're gonna start attacking. Oh no! Okay, that, that could affect us. That could actually affect us. We'll go for one more Leer. I swear to god. Okay. Now, pound that chicken! Critical! Oh, shit! Get wrecked! And I'm level 7! Woo! Alright. Increase in speed, wow. Wow, that's great, Jess! You're pretty good! I just scored basically $3. Yeah, because, um... Poke dollars in this game is based off of yen, and one dollar, well, um, one hundred yen is about like 0.98, basically like 98 cents to like a dollar or something in U.S. money. So that's basically a dollar. <laughs> so just think about this, all right? Here's a little educational fact for you. If it's 300 yen, it's most likely three dollars. If it's 3,000 yen, it's 13 dollars. So yeah. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily! Well, it's time to head back to the lab! Honestly, I never thought that was actually such an important, you know, thing. Until way later, when I found out about the Luxury Ball, I was like, okay, there's gotta be something important with it. Jask, over here, let's hurry home! Okay, freaking calm your tits, girl. You don't have to speed walk. I forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> so let's go back over here. I just hope that I score an Nikata so that I can get a Ninjask. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, hi, Jask. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent! You should be more proud of the both of us than just me. May's been helping with my research for a long time. I don't understand why Torchic is level 5 then, and I just got it. Never mind. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Again. Why a level 5 Pokemon? <laughs> Here, Jask, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Jask received the Pokedex. Do, 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 do. I can't hear the music, so I'm just making the sounds for myself. The Pokedex is a high tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. And annoys the living shit out of me. Oh wow, Jask, you got a Pokedex too! That's great, just like me! Da -da -da. Oh hey, totally skipped that part. Whatever, I got Pokeballs now. Okay. Time to skip through this whole entire thing. Ah, crap. And this is where we get our running shoes, right? Wait, Jask! 
Just as the the oh what an adorable Pokemon. Okay, I get I guess my mom likes geckos. Walking geckos that will be able to absorb your life energy. <laughs> Think about that one, guys. <laughs> Alright. Okay. This freaking dialogue right here was completely unnecessary. Alright, so we are at our first route, and we are going to get our first Pokemon. And it's a Poochiena! Okay, I was hoping for maybe a Wurmple or something, but Poochiena works too, and it's- Oh god, it's a low level. God damn it. For the love of god, don't kill it. Okay, you know what? I'm not chancing it. <laughs> I'm already not chancing it. Freaking give me the Poochiena already. Please. You suck. Okay, I need to check the stats really quickly because I... Really? I need to check if it's... Oh no. No, 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 no. 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 Oh god, why did I do that? That was actually even worse. Use Growl. Stop using Tackle. Oh my god, please. One, two, three. Booyah! Hold an A and B works like a charm. It savagely threatens foes with a bare face. It. Wow, let me try that again. It savagely threatens foes with bared fangs. It chases after fleeing targets tenaciously. It turns tail and runs. However, if the foe strikes back... Okay. Did I totally read that wrong? I don't know. Puchiana's name is... Enya. There we go. Enya. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Let's check- let's check on Enya. Let's- let's- I actually kinda like that name, Enya. Alright, so I already got a dark type. That ain't bad. It's got Runaway, so that could be useful. <laughs> Not. Special nat nature, uh... Not bad stats for a level- t actually, that is kinda shitty. <laughs> oh, and that's why, because all it used was tag. Uh, yeah. All right, so I'm already, I'm gonna switch out. Well, actually, I'm gonna get to Old Dale, heal up, and then do a little grinding, a little grinding montage. So I hope you don't mind.
Alright, and we are back! Alright, so that only took me about five minutes, but now... Now Enya is now level five, and Akret is going to level up very soon. But we are not aiming to level him up, as we are going to get a new Pokemon. We are not going to be going up there, because I can get a water Pokemon there. And that could be potentially useful. So let's hope that I get a low tech. Uh, oh, well. Shit. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because as Nuzlocke states, you can, if you, if you run into the same Pokemon that you've caught before, you can run away from it, it'll be okay. Yes! Lotad! Yes! Oh, hello. I found the speed up button. <laughs> Oh, do I want to take it? Uh, you know what? Oh yeah, I also bought, uh, Pokeballs and a Premier Ball, apparently. Will I get the low tad? This Pokemon lives in ponds with clean water. It is known for... It is known to very small Pokemon. Across ponds by carrying them on the broad leaf on its head. Give a nickname to Lotad? Yes. Uh, Uncle. I know it's I know it's a uh, girl and all that, but if a certain someone is actually watching this, this let's play, <laughs> then they get it. Oh, all right, whatever. Whatever. I'll just I'll just kill this purple off. So let's take a look at Uncle. Oh, it's got a rain dish. That oh man, that's gonna be useful. That's gonna be really useful. Holy crap. I got astonished and crap. Ooh, wow, I should really train up Uncle. I'll I'll train up Uncle in the next episode and all that. Oh man. Die, Wurple. Alright, so, at the end of the day, we ended up with Akret the Trico, from level 5 to level 7, Enya from level 2 to level 5, and almost died on me a few times, <laughs> and Uncle, our, our other newest addition that is going to help out so much, because of that new kick-ass rain, abil uh, rain ability, yeah, it is rain ability, rain dish. Met at level four, didn't do a thing at level four, but it's jolly nature. No, uh, if I remember correctly, no, it's it's not special attack. It's attack and speed. Like it lowers an attack and increases in speed. I forgot what jolly does. <laughs> I'm not very good with natures. So without. Without uh, any other interruptions, I mean. Oh, actually, let, let's let's go into the Pokemon Mart first. I think I still have something. Oh wow, I only have a. Oh, damn. Can I sell something? No, it's, it's just that stuff. All right, yeah, I'm gonna need that antidote later on, most likely. So I'm just gonna spend all my money. <laughs> first episode spends all the money. Woo! That's what ten-year-olds would do if they had a lot of money and had the ability to spend it if their parents allow it, you know? Because my parents never did. Anyways, without further ado, have a good night, people. This is the Speedy ja uh, Ninjas signing right off, and please rate, subscribe, and comment on this video. I would enjoy making more videos like this if this video can get up to maybe five likes or something. I will continue it up to episode. Well, I will can. Well, I will continue it after episode two. So until next, until next time, procrastinators. Hey everybody, uh, Jask here, and 
what I said at the beginning of the video, I'm very sorry if I offended anybody. Um, in a few seconds, you'll actually be seeing what I did for uh, Gay Pride Parade in uh, San Francisco last year, I think it was. It's been a while. Um, but other than that, I'm, I don't have anything against transvestites, people who are gay or lesbian or anything. I completely approve of that. I honestly don't get why people disapprove of it, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, roll the two pictures.